Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create your own uh, theme switcher component uh, using a Jetpack Compose. So here you can see that we have a, a theme switcher component in a different uh, sizes, and uh, in each and every size here, this component looks uh, quite well. So whenever we want to change our uh, theme uh, programmatically from our application, we can just select or actually click on this uh, uh, theme switcher component, and then the theme will automatically change. As you can see, it works uh, very well. So I have already made this uh, component and now I'm going to show you how that component uh, has been created. So the first uh, thing that you need to know is that uh, the actual uh, state uh, that we have defined uh, is uh, in our main activity. So that state is uh, a dark uh, theme, which is a Boolean value. Now that dark theme Boolean value is passed directly to our uh, root uh, composable function, which we can find in our theme Kotlin file. And based on that dark theme boolean value, we are either displaying uh, a dark colors or light colors in our application. So whenever that uh, value changes here, then it will reflect immediately on our application. So you can see that here we also have one uh, a main screen uh, a Kotlin file, which actually contains our uh, theme switcher. So here you can see that our theme switcher component contains one lambda, and whenever that lambda triggers, uh, then we are updating this uh, dark theme boolean value to its opposite value. And that's how we are making a switch to change our theme from the light to the dark and vice versa. Now, in a real world uh, scenario, instead of defining this uh, property uh, as a mutable state and hard coding its value, uh, you would want to use, uh, for example, a share preferences or a data store to actually persist that value in your local storage, okay? And that way, you would observe that data store value from here and you would update that uh, data store value whenever you actually trigger this uh, theme switcher. But in this case, I have just created here one simple property for demonstration purposes. Okay, uh, now let's go back to our theme switcher component so I can show you how this component is actually created. So the first property here is a dark theme boolean value, uh, which is used in multiple places in our composable function. So the first place is in this uh, offset property. So, so as you can see, whenever we click our actual component, uh, this uh, little uh, circle or uh, toggle uh, button is actually moving from the left to the right and vice versa. And that uh, offset animation is possible only with this uh, dark theme boolean value. So whenever our dark theme is uh, uh, true, uh, then the actual position or the offset of our uh, toggle button uh, will be zero. Otherwise, the offset position uh, will be the position or the actual value of our uh, size that we are passing to our uh, theme switcher component. So, so here I have specified a default value to be uh, 150 dp. Uh, that's uh, what kind of uh, offset we're going to use if we leave that value as a default. Now, this uh, dark theme uh, boolean value is also used uh, uh, within our icons down below. So as you can see, we have uh, two different icons, uh, one which will represent the moon and the one which will represent the sun. And those um, actual colors of those icons are uh, calculated uh, based on this uh, dark theme boolean value, okay? Now, the next property that you can see right here is the actual uh, size. So the size that we are passing here uh, actually represents the size of this uh, uh, toggle button, okay? And the actual parent box, which contains those two icons, will have the size of a 300 dp in this case, because we are multiplying that with the number 2. So as you can see that the size is uh, passed uh, to our uh, parent here, so this is our uh, parent shape, which will have the size of uh, our size multiplied by 2, its height will be uh, the size of our size, then down below you can see that this uh, box, which represents a, a toggle shape, will have that uh, same size that we are passing to this function, and uh, also uh, down below this uh, actual box, which contains this uh, color, will have the same size as that uh, toggle button. However, those actual icons that are uh, contained within this uh, box uh, actually have a different uh, size. So that size is uh, calculated within the parameters of our function. And that size will be the size divided by 3. Of course, you can also increase or decrease the size of those uh, images by yourself. So, for example, if you want to increase the size of those icons, then you would want to uh, divide that with a lower number. And if you want to uh, decrease the size of those actual icons, then you can increase this uh, uh, divided number, okay? Then the next parameter here is a padding. So this is the padding that we have uh, uh, between our actual parent and this uh, toggle. A default value here is a number 10, and the border width here is 1dp. 
The next thing here we have a parent shape and a toggle shape. So the parent shape represents uh, this actual parent and the toggle shape represents just this uh, circle. And of course you can modify both of those values uh, as you want. Uh, next we have this animation spec which is basically the animation that we are using to animate uh, this uh, offset. Uh, as a default value, I have specified a, a twin animation with a duration of a 300 milliseconds. And finally, we have this uh, on-click lambda, which is triggered whenever we press our actual toggle button. And whenever we press that, of course, we are updating this uh, value, which is updating this dark theme. Then this is changing our theme. And also this dark theme is uh, animating our um, uh, offset as well. And there you go, so this is how our theme switcher component uh, looks like. So as you can see here in this uh, call site, uh, I have uh, basically uh, called this uh, theme switcher with uh, different parameters. So uh, when we leave those uh, size parameters as default, then we're going to get this uh, largest uh, a theme switcher uh, component. Then down below here you can see that I have modified this uh, size to 100 and uh, to 50 as well. This is the one that contains the size of a 50. So so the actual size that we are passing here uh, will be referred to, to this actual circle because if we pass here a 50 then the actual parent size here uh, will be multiplied by 2 which means that the actual width of this uh, parent uh, will be 100 and not 50. So the 50 will be the size of this actual uh, toggle button inside this parent. So uh, feel free to comment down below and let me know what you think about this uh, component. Also be sure to comment if you have some uh, different and better idea than uh, this one. The link of this uh, source code will be down in the video description so no worries there. And of course uh, don't forget to like this video but only if you find it helpful. For this video that will be all.